It's a week of let's get dressed for the office. Good morning, Sharon here, Ageless Restyling. Thank you so very much for joining me for another Let's Get Dressed. All right, it's gonna be a week of Let's Get Dressed for the office. So let's get started. Um, let's see, do I wanna start from the bottom? No, let's start, huh. How do I want to start this today? Okay, let's just start with the outfit. I was trying to determine if I want to go from the bottom up, but then I'm looking at my pants that I want to wear and that will not work. So let's get started with what this outfit. So it's going to be a classic style. What I think is a classic style today. You know, it could be relative. <laughs> so we're going to start off with this jacket. And it's a Casper jacket that I thrifted. And it's almost like um, a military jacket. And I love this style. Love, love, love this style. And then I have this pants. And who is this pants? This pants is also thrifted. I can't, I, you know what? I altered it and the label got cut out. But I thrifted this pants some labels. I love the tailoring, it's well tailored. I had to alter it to, for the waist because it was a little bit too big. But the fabric on it is thick and I love the tailoring of it. Most of my pants are thrifted, not all, but most. And I do that because I like really long pants and tailoring and normally I like my, uh, the fabric of the pants is very very important to me because the way how it lays the fabric is important and generally those pants they're not cheap they usually go about you know 250 and above so i thrift most of my pants for that so let me go ahead put this on and then i'll be right back okay it's on i love it i love the classic style of it i love the look i really love the look of this military style jacket love it yes oh i wonder how long i've had this jacket sitting in my closet <laughs> just sitting there i found it last night when i was kind of like you know i want to wear a jacket because y'all it, it's, it's still cold so i'm trying to wear things that are going to keep me warm the fabric a little bit heavier thicker long sleeves with a neck and I'm like this is perfect all right so now let's go to shoes I'm gonna wear booty booty and I'm wearing these booties and these are Aldo booties and I think they'll look great with the pants because the pants is a wide leg pants so I wanted a pointy toe shoe at first I was gonna wear a pump and like, no, wear a booty. That'll help keep you warm, even though if the back is exposed. But the pants is long enough to cover it. <laughs> so I said, no, wear a booty because, you know, it's, it's chilly out there. Perfect opportunity to wear your booties. So I pulled out these Aldo booties. Oh, I like them. You see how I have really skinny ankles. And this one, look at that. You see how it just wraps around my ankles beautifully? It's not open and big. It's a challenge when you have smaller ankles. But in the summertime when you're wearing your sandals, your high heel sandals, huh, they look good. Oh gosh. You know my, the carpet, the rug down here is kind of like mohair. And I'm telling you these black pants are pick, picking up all of the mohair because it was dragging on the floor. <laughs> So I gotta get the lip brush to it. Yeah, it's picked up all of the more here. The things you don't think about when you're putting carpet down. <laughs> all right. I'll get the rest of it later. Let's look at the outfit. Minus the more here at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I think these these um the booties are perfect with this pants. Yeah. I like. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like loving this so far. Okay, one of you guys out there, one of my amazing supporters say, Sharon, 
you have so many scarves and you don't wear them and she ain't never lied no lie detective there ton of scarves <sighs> and i forget about them when i'm getting dressed <laughs> so let me see if i could incorporate a scarf to there maybe around my neck i was thinking yeah okay y'all hold on a minute <laughs> this is really bothering me <laughs> you know i got issues right i gotta get this <laughs> or as much as it as i can the pants is wool and you know black wool just picks up everything and because it was just sitting because the pants was just sitting on it on the um, thing it picked up all the more hair all right i'm gonna have to get a fresh one all right that's the only thing about black and wool <laughs> black wool it picks up all the crap all right so I want to find a scarf before we go but before we go to the scarf let's do the bag let me show you the guy the bag the bag y'all remember <laughs> you remember this <laughs> the bag I went to labels to get the Kurt Geiger you remember <laughs> Hyena, don't I? All right, let me stop that. <laughs> yes, it's just like this is so toned that toned down. Let me slow down. The outfit is toned down, conservative, and then we have the bag. Yes, which just brings it to life. This metallic, whatever the color is, y'all tell me the color, cause y'all know me. I could put stuff together, but I may not know the name of the color. <laughs> I know it has metallic in it. <laughs> oh, this is stunning. All right, so this is the bag I'm carrying today. So based on the bag and the outfit, I have to figure out which scarf. If, if I wear a scarf, if the scarf is going to go, let's just see. We experiment. This is an experimentation right now. We have experiment. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know my allergies, running nose, this this time of season. Hold on a second, hold on, hold on. All right, we're back. <laughs> I pulled some out last night just to kind of like put it to the beginning at the end so we could figure it out. So kind of, cause this, this wait a minute, I, I may have missed one. No, 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 that one don't work. Cause we could spend a couple of hours here going through, oh, maybe this one? No, 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 no. I don't know either. No, 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 that won't work. You know, I thought I had done this last night. Pulled up the one that possibly could, maybe. And here I am still going through. <laughs> maybe this one too? You know what? What am I doing? I'm giving myself more choices, which would make the challenge, make it more challenging for me to make the decision. Limit my choice. All right. I want one that pick, kind of pick up the color in, in the bag. So let's see, what do you think? No, this is a no, this is a no, this is a no. All right, so this one is a no. All right, so we put this, oops, we put this one back. All right, so let's see. Oh, this is a big one. This one may be too big too, cause I think, you know what? Yeah, this one is too big. Yeah, this is gonna be too much. Even though this color right here could possibly, it would work. But I think it's going to be, it's too big, it's too big. Let's put this one back. It's way too big. All right. Can you tell I love a silk scarf? And they're all silk. silk. Oh, this one may be it. What do you think? Huh, okay. And then we have this one. Huh, what do you think? It's not going to sit on the bag, you know, it's really going to be like this. So it's going to be kind of, you're going to see kind of, it's going to be around my neck. But let's see this one. Let's try this one. Now, let's see how we're going to tie it around the neck. I am not very good at this. This is, this is the part women are good at at all. Who's this scarf by? 
Oh yeah, this is a Tommy Bahama silk scarf. And I think I thrifted this one when I was in Hilton Head. Um, not last year, because we didn't go last year, the year before. We used to go to Hilton Head almost every year, but we didn't go last year. We were supposed to go last year, but ended up not going. All right, let's see. Maybe the reason why I don't wear them because I'm not very good at the scarf tying thing. I used to have a booklet that shows the different way to tie a, tie a scarf and wear it. Oh, ooh, this one. And then I, I don't know what, what I did with it. I know I didn't throw it away. It's somewhere in my possession, somewhere lost. <laughs> so let's see. Maybe I'll start doing some more research about, you know, scarf tying. And then maybe I'll start wearing this, my scarves a little bit more. Cause there's an art to it. Oh, come on. I almost had it. There's an art to it. And some people it just mastered that art form. Unfortunately, I'm not one of them. <laughs> but you know, you can't be good at everything. <laughs> idea hold on a minute let me pull of how I wanted it oh, what, do you, what do you think what do you think how did I do you know how, how I did you see it how did I do I wish more of the green I was trying to tie it some more of the green would show I don't think I did that but I, I actually like this because it's gonna keep my neck warm <laughs> it's gonna warm up today later on but right now it's still frigid well yeah it's still cold the weatherman said we're in the 20s but we should get you know up into the um 40s today <laughs> look at <laughs> look the 40s is warmer <laughs> Well, it is warmer than 20. <laughs> you know, I like it. Let's see. Not as much as the green or uh, wh whatever this color is. I mean, no, I know it's not green. It's a shade of green, whatever the color is. Much of that color is not showing because I guess of where it's located in the scarf. But, you know, I kind of like this. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. There's a piece sticking up right here, so in the back. Let me fix that. Yeah. I I, I like it. What what? What do you think? I actually like it. You know, I could stay here all day zhuzhing. I am a zhuzher. It's like trying to f fix, fix, fix. be right back the bag is packed all right that is done but let me show y'all the colors I'm wearing today my eye color and lippy okay so today my eyeshadow I went back to <laughs> vintage <laughs> urban decay this old urban decay palette that I have and what I wore Listen, I can't see the name of the colors. This color <laughs> here is a color in my crease. And then this one on my lid. I, this was the base on the lid and I put, I'm sorry, this was the base on the lid and I put this one on top of it. So that's a color from this palette. And then 
I use this color from another Urban, this color from another Urban Decay palette right here, just above. And my black up was my highlighter and my lippy. First, I lined my lip with my Dior. Um, it's um, 970, yeah, 975 Opera lip liner and with this MAC lip color and this lip color is lovers only oh this, this is just a beautiful name lovers only so <laughs> that's what i i'm wearing today so let me drop <laughs> this my lippy and my lip liner in my bag close it back up all right now perfume you know, we're going to go with wild geranium because I want to feel like I'm running through the fields of Okay. Y'all didn't ask for all that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go with <laughs> Aaron wild geranium because I want to feel like I'm running. I want to pretend it's spring. Wait, I'm going to have to pull this up. And I'm running through the fields. A, f a flower field. You, oh, yes. Running through a field filled with flowers because it's springtime. So that's what I want to pretend today oh, with wild geranium. I'm just running through a field of flowers in spring. <gasps> in spring. So that's that. Okay, wait a minute. Wait. I went straight to the perfume and I put, I didn't put on no earring, no earring, nothing. Sharon, what's going on with you? You're off track. All right. I brought these earrings in. And I brought these in before I even thought of, before I put this on, but I don't know how it's going to look. So let's see. I may have to, but I think it should be fine. It's, it's pearl, so it should be fine. Open it and get it open oh geez there we go yeah I the earrings is going to be fine I'm here running through a flower while during and feeling to put the earring on see these earrings my pearl and silver earrings Now I did bring a pin in. I'm not sure about the pin. I bought this brooch in. So let's see if this works. Huh. Am I gonna like it? Is it too much? Hmm. Or I also brought, now this is gonna be really too much. This humongous flowers in. <laughs> because hold on let me change the earring i'm coming maybe i'll we'll grab another earring and i'll be right back i think if i'll change anything it should be the earring if i could get it out <laughs> yeah i think i need to change the earring i'll be right back I change the earring so i just put these little earrings on and i think i think these work i think these work I like it. 
or should I just take the scarf off and leave the, the um but I like the scarf it, you know it's it's keeping my neck warm I like it I'm gonna go with it all right sunnies because I have to get out of here because I'm in here playing and flouncing and fixing and flouncing and fixing I think I know the shades I'm gonna wear I think I'm gonna wear um the Chanel yeah yep 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 yeah these are my sunglasses today i'm gonna wear these i think they're perfect yes all right y'all so this is it for today that's the look i'm happy with it so i'm gonna see you tomorrow so i got to go see you tomorrow all right all right another day another dollar so let's go ahead and get dressed so today i decided i wanted to wear a skirt so i'm wearing my satin skirt that i've had for a while where did it come from this was not thrifted i know i purchased this retail oh this is a a new day and a new day is target so i got this from target i've had it now for maybe about two years i think yeah two years and then this sweater where's this sweater from it's just a turtleneck sweater y'all it's gonna be in the 40s today we're out of the 20s so happy never thought i'll be happy to see 40s oh and this is time and true gosh this this feels good for walmart true time, time yeah time and true so this is a Walmart sweater that I had for a while. To, if I actually, the quality of it, oh my goodness, where did I get this? How long have I had it? Can I find it? I may need to get some more. So I, I've had to have had this for over a year. It's time and true. It feels so good. Wow. Okay. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm just, I was just shocked at how good it felt. <laughs> out my um container so this is the start this is the base so let's get dressed i'll put it on and i'll come right back okay so the skirt is on the sweater is on y'all i i am still in shock that this is a walmart sweater I, I i can't believe it it feels so good i wonder how long i've i've had to have had this sweater for well over for, oh, for about two years I am going to see if I could find some more. Hopefully they still have it. But who knows? Two years old? Two years old, look at this. For Walmart. And you guys, when I tell you it feels so good, why didn't I buy more? What was I thinking back then? Anyhow, love, love the Walmart time and true sweater and my Target skirt. So now let's put on boots. I am going to be wearing black boots keeping it very very simple wearing these black knee-high boots and these boots who's this boots let's see who's this oh <laughs> my guy steve madden <laughs> y'all steve madden for the shoes kurt geigers for the bags <laughs> the men in my lives the men in my lives oh oh you know what let me do this since it comes all the way up it's a knee high and i don't want it to to give it to just give it some ad additional support i showed you guys this i'm gonna put my leg warmers on yeah to help hold them up so they won't fall and this it really worked the last time i the first time I did this, it really, really worked. Okay, let's make sure we're putting the correct foot. Alrighty. I love these. Ah! Oh, I love the pointiness of it. You know I love a pointy toe. Love a pointy toe shoes. 
shoes, boots, pumps, whatever. Yeah. Uh oh, hold on, I gotta fix. Oh, it's starting to roll up. <laughs> Let me fix the bottom down here. Okay. Here we go. Gotta fix that one too. I didn't see catch it that one. Okay. That's I guess that's the thing with the leg warmers. You gotta make sure they stick. It stays flat. So it doesn't look bulky. This one rolled up. So let me fix that. Okay. And it help give, I think it helped give the boots, especially these fabric boots, help give it some structure. Yep, I'm happy. I like, I like. Okay, I don't have a whole bunch of time to be up here dancing and carrying on with my usual stuff. Oh, but I really like this. Yes. Okay, now the rest of the accessories. Boots, none. Necklaces. I decided I'm gonna just layer up with some necklace. So I pulled some of my necklaces out and we're gonna layer up today. Let's see how that looks. First one on. Where's this one at? How does this thing go? Oh, I see it. <laughs> okay. On. It's nice if I could just put it over my head and don't have to worry about hooking. Because me and these me and these hooks we're always fighting. Let's see, put this one on. And I'm gonna double this one up. Let's put the hook in the back. Hold on, you guys, for a moment. My nose is really runny. Hold on. Didn't want to have to make that very ugly and <laughs> snorting <laughs> noise. It's not the most attractive sound you hear. That snorting. It's just annoying. Anyhow, let's proceed. I want the hook in the back. Alrighty. So this is what we have going on so far. I have another one. Do you think I should add this this last one or not? What do you think? Looking at it right here. Hmm. Or is that what I have on enough? Yeah, I think what I have on is enough. I don't need to add this one. So let's put this one back in its bag. Now, we'll say we got a decision to make. All right, behave yourself, Sharon. So I brought some earrings in because I am unsure about the direction I want to go. They're similar. You know, it's just a matter of what am I feeling today. So I brought three pairs in. <laughs> Couldn't bring in any more than that because any more than that, would have been way too much, Sharon. We'd be here all day. Don't have that time. Oh, I like this one, the geometric. And it's, okay. So I'll come and show, put one in one ear and one in the other and show you guys. And then you could comment below which one you like. Since me can't hear no. Maybe I should start getting dressed like, no, that wouldn't work. No, 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 don't do that. Okay, so here's the first earring. And here's the second one. I love this one. It's, this one is vintage. I've, this one is old. I've, well, both of them are old, but this one is vintage. What do you think? Which one? Okay. I got to pick one between these two because then I have a third one in my hand. Mm. You know, I love this one, but because I'm wearing so many necklaces, like four, I think... The one that's the, the this one that's just flat against my ears is better than the the hanging one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 
So love this one, but it's a no for me for this one. But if you prefer this one, you let me know. Comment below. All right, so here's the other one I'm gonna try on. So let me bring it up and show you guys. So then this is the third one. That's competing about against the one that I selected. Which one do you think? Hmm? Competition is stiff. Oh, I like them both. This one has more black. This one is a gold. Which one? Which one? Which one? Sharon. <laughs> I like them both. Okay. I wish I could hear which one you say. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with this one. Yeah. So let's put this one back in its bag. And get this one out. Yeah. I, I, I'm okay with this one. All right. So now we got the, ear, we got the necklace. We got the earrings. What all the handbags? Yes, the other accessory. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we got decisions to make. So, first bag. Oh, okay, you want to be up first? All right, we'll pull you out first. <laughs> My Kurt Geiger multicolor. Let's see. You know, I like this. It's different. It's unexpected. Well, not for Sharon, not for me. It's not unexpected for me. I like this. I like it. Okay, okay, okay. So then let's put on. This Valentino. Let's see if I like this one. I could immediately tell him in a like. I don't even have to take it, the strap out. I don't like, don't like, don't like, don't like. So immediately, 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 I knew I didn't like that one. So this one is a no. This one goes. And then let's pull out my new um, Teddy Blake. You know, I showed you guys my new Teddy Blake. So let's pull up. Oh, did I sit something on here? Okay. is Juvia's Place, the um, Saharan palette. Here is the palette. So today I use this color. I'm not even gonna try and say the name. On my entire eyelid, then I put some of this in the crease. I put this in the over 
I'm sorry, I put this one over that. And then in the corner, I put the black. So this is the color. Ooh, did y'all notice I have lashes on? I put some lashes on today. I felt like doing that, so I did. So this is the palette today. And my lippy, I don't, I sh <laughs> my lippy is a Sephora lippy. You can see it's very well loved. I'm gonna have to try and find it again. And I can't, I don't remember the name of the color. So I'm gonna have to take this to Sephora with me and find it because it's been used. And I just top it off with some red lip gloss. So that's my lippy for today. Let me drop that in here. And let's figure out a perfume. Yesterday I wanted to run through the flower patch with wild geranium. <laughs> oh. Let's do cedar violet today. Mm. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, before I do cedar violet. So, let's see. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Oh. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to try something. I'm going to mix Aaron Cedar Violet with Joe Malone Mandarin. Bitter Mandarin. Let's see how that works. Let us see. Let's play and see. I normally don't mix my perfumes because I use oils on my body. Essential oils. And the essential oils itself has a fragrance and it helps my perfume to last longer so i normally don't there's not no need for me to mix it because of that but i'm gonna be on the wild side today let's make some and see oh that smells wait a minute that actually smells good the sun and I'm a face. Anyhow, so today, one sunny and it's going to be Tom Ford. If I get to wear it, this is what I'm wearing today, my Tom Ford sunny. Yeah, I like it. So ladies and gents, this is the look for today. So may I see you tomorrow. All right, see you tomorrow. Here we go. Another day, another dollar. Let's get dressed. So I feel like I have been pretty conservative <laughs> the past couple days. So I want to spice it up a bit. So just a, just, just a little spice. Now, it, what, what I'm going to do may be a bit controversial. We're going to be doing a bit of um, print mixing. I think it's interesting. I obviously like it because I'm going to be wearing it. So let's get started. So... I'm going to start off, yeah, we're going to be in the 60s today, so let's bring out the slip dress. <laughs> Can you imagine when you feel like 60 degrees is nice and warm? Well, when you come from the teens, 60 feel good. I will be wearing a jacket, by the way. So, I'm going to be wearing this slip dress, and I'm going to be pardoning it up with some other prints. So, let's put this on. And I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. The slip dress is on. Summertime. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little delirious because it's 60 degrees. Anyhow, obviously, I'm not going to be wearing this like this. I am going to be putting um, something over it that I'm going to keep on over it all day. Let's put the boots on. Then I shall go further in my explanation of my thought process of what I'm doing here. You know, some thought went into this. <laughs> Didn't just happen willy-nilly. All right. I want to tell you about my dress. This dress I, is a Scoop Dress Walmart brand, and I've had it for maybe two, three years, but I love it. 
I love a slip dress. Okay, now my boots. My boots is the, my Just Fram crunchy boots. It's over the knee. So let me put on, you know, my little <laughs> thing for when I do over the knee, because it helps it, the boots stay up. This really, really works, you guys. I am so happy that it does. So you don't have to be bothering with the boots always falling down. Wait a minute. Oh, I had it on the wrong side. <laughs> the person we just can't let it stand the wrong side. All right. I did it on the other foot too. Uh, what, what do they call that? I call it ruching. If I'm wrong, correct me. <laughs> okay, let's pull this down a bit. I pulled the um the leg warmers up a little bit too much. Okay, let me fix this one since I know what's going to happen with the other one. I can't wait to put this to y'all to this outfit. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Zip it all the way down, Sharon, before you try and put it on. See, I'm rushing. I'm trying to put the boots on without zipping it all the way down. length I want it. I'm trying to get it all even all the way around. Okay. But I don't like I don't like this look. So now I want to add a belt over that. I pulled out two belts. First I have this one. I don't like this one. I could tell immediately was quick. I think it's 
It has to be this one, otherwise I might have to go back in the belt corner. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yep. There we go. All right. So this covers up the adjustment that I made in shortening the slit dress a smidgen. Now, for the top layer, I'm adding this coat. I thrifted this coat <laughs> years ago. It's a Casper coat, and this is a size 14, but I thrifted it, even though it was a size 14. Well, y'all know I thrift big size. Y'all know who I am. Because I like the oversized look of it. Look at the print mixing. What do y'all think? <laughs> Men are done yet? <laughs> I love this. I thought this would be interesting. Let's kind of spice it up a bit. You know? I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. So, because, you know, print mixing can be a lot. <laughs> Hear me calling this tone down. I thought I would just wear like a choker, but something with a little bit of interest. What do y'all think of this? Is it too much? I have had this thing, y'all, for like 20 years and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. One time the the um the magnet that kept everything together came out and I had to try and find a way to let it work. Look at it. Look. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love this. I'm loving it. Okay. Now we're gonna keep the earring very, very simple. Um, in that I'm just gonna be wearing, I brought two pairs, two pearl earrings out. This one that dangles a little bit, and then this one. Hold them on, I have a runny nose, hold on. All right, I'm back. That situation is fixed. Okay, I was saying, <laughs> and this one. So which one do I want to wear? I, I think I'm gonna keep just the, the post. I'm gonna keep it just as simple as possible because this is saying a lot. So let's just keep the, I'm just gonna do the pearl post, keeping it simple. Because I have a, there's a lot going on in this. So I'll keep everything else simple. Because I'm not done with the pattern mixing. We got more. <laughs> we have more with the pattern mixing. Put this one on. <laughs> I can't find the hook back. Come on, where are you? Okay, come on. Where's the hole? Okay, there we go. Got it. <laughs> and I gotta make sure that it's symmetrical because y'all know this is the one, this is the side that my earlobe hangs a little bit. It's, wait a minute, it's not quite, hold on, wait, come on, not as up as it should be, but you know what, <laughs> okay, we're going to leave it alone, <laughs> I'm just going to be off today, <laughs> okay? bag 
Y'all ready? Red snake print bag! That's the bag I'm wearing. <laughs> I've told you guys, I got these bags back in the days from Amazon when you could get them. The Hermes inspired bag. The snake print. Because I knew this was the bag I'm carrying up, the bag is already packed. Already packed my bag. What, what do y'all think? <laughs> With the pattern mixing. We got polka dot, black and green. We got, I don't know what this pattern is, but the black and cream. And then we got the snake print, red and black. Black being my base with all the other colors. What do y'all think? I love it. It's interesting. It's not boring. It makes me happy. <laughs> so the bag is already packed, so I don't have to do that. But I wanted to show you guys my makeup today. Look at my eyes. So uh, today it's the um, Urban um, Born to Run. This palette by Urban Decay. I always permit um, Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Now, in my eyes today, I use Riff. You see Riff right here? I use Riff all over. Then I use, what's this one? Wanderlust. I use Wanderlust on the outside. And then I use Stranded. <laughs> I use Stranded on the inner. And I just put a little bit of Stranded up here. So that's the colors I use from the Urban Decay Barn to Run palette today. And you know, my contour was always <laughs> my um, Black Radiance. Y'all, can you tell I love this palette? And my lippy Chanel, the all day wear, this beautiful red. Oh. Mm, love it. And it's daring red. Yes, this, yes, this daring. Wait. Yeah, it's the Chanel daring red. You know, they're pricey, but I really love it because the lipstick lasts all day and then you get the gloss at the end you got the lipstick on the gloss great combo love 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 let me drop my lipstick in my bag that's all i will need in my bag now perfume what do i feel like today um i don't know how am I feeling? How am I feeling today? Oh, you know what? By the way, yesterday, wait, let's do this combo again. Yesterday, I mixed Aaron Cedar Violet and Joe Malone Bitter Mandarin together. Y'all, there's this man in my office. He comes to my office, I think, just to smell me. <laughs> what he said he said you're wearing something different today it smells good and I said I mixed two fragrance together so let's do that again <laughs> let's repeat repeat he always comes in and he says Sharon you know I hope I don't offend you I said I'm not easily offended <laughs> I'll let trust and believe I'll let you know when I'm offended and I will stop you right in your track <laughs> oh, okay so it's a repeat of yesterday with these two fragrances mixed together I am so oh oh y'all that cedar violet and bitter mandarin oh yes okay now sunglasses I brought two in. First, we have Tory 
Tory Burch. And I brought Tory... Oh, God. This is, this smells so good. The mixture of those two smells so good. Okay. Tory Burch. Let's see how Tory looks. Let's see. This is Tory. I brought Tory in because Tory has the black and cream captures. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. What do you think? Oh, this is ah okay 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 okay. I think I know which one, but you know, let's just put on the Chanel for good measure. Let's just let's just see. Let's just see. It just depends on the look I'm going for. Okay, I mean, Chanel will work. It you know it never fails. It works. It, it will work. Chanel never fails. However, I don't want boring today. No, no, no. I want fun. I want interesting. So today, we're going with Tori, and this is the look. Y'all, I gotta get out of here. See ya tomorrow! So... <coughs> I was leaving the house and an item that I ordered from Amazon that I was planning on returning today <laughs> I was going to take it to the store to return it one of the items fell out the package it's this you see that brooch that, um, that necklace I was influenced by Miss Deborah Berry I was watching Deborah on Sunday and she had this on and I could not when she was doing her intro I could not take my eyes off the choker so I immediately ordered it from Amazon <clears throat> so I immediately ordered it it came but I wasn't happy with it um, it's not sitting on my neck like it sat on hers and I didn't like the way how it was so my plan was to take it back to, to drop it off back to return it today but when I came downstairs and I picked up the package it fell out so I looked at it and I'm like hmm let me try it again let me try it on with this outfit and see if I like it better what do y'all think I mean on Deborah it looked amazing I my eyes just gravitated towards her neck when she had it on because it just looked so good on her I was influenced to purchase it. I don't know if it look as good on me as it does on Deborah. As it, yeah, as it did on Deborah. I'm, I'm still up in the air about it. But I'm wondering if this looks better than what I had on first. What do y'all think? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna wear it and keep it on and kind of look at it throughout the day and see how I feel about it. So I just wanted to update y'all on that little change. All right, bye. <laughs> Okay, here we are the last day of this week. Let's get dressed. <laughs> Y'all, I'm tired. It's been hectic, crazy at the office. But because it's the last week, I want to do some shimmy, shimmy, shiny, shiny. Plus, it's raining. I'm hoping the rain stops. I'm really hoping and, and the sun kind of comes out a little bit in the afternoon. Let's see. It's still yet to be revealed. Anyhow, so let's get started. Today, I am wearing this skirt do you guys remember when i thrifted this skirt from park avenue thrift it's a um javier bernard and i showed you guys this skirt when i thrifted it from park avenue thrift finally wearing it today and then i'm going to add to that this sweater and shirt that i have and let's see, the sweater is Universal Thread. It's a Universal Thread. I think Universal Thread is, is that Target? I think it's Target. And a basic white shirt. But before we do that, I decided let's get dressed from the bottom up. Did I pull, I didn't, of course I didn't pull the socks out. <laughs> of course I didn't, you know? Why would I come on here prepared? That would be so counter. 
Okay, I'm seeing all kind of stockings. I need socks. It's not as cold today. Yay! 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 So, I I don't need stockings with my boots. I'm finding one one pair of socks. Sharon, what do you do with all the socks? You just have one pair, one one sock once. <sighs> It's the one sock sink. Okay, wait a minute. I found one. Okay. It's my travel socks, but they will do just fine. My legs may need some, my foot may need some um, compression anyhow. <laughs> so these are my compression travel socks. So we'll just put those on today. Uh, I don't know why I don't use the stool. The stool is right there. Lovely, isn't it? Just lovely. <laughs> it's just lovely. But it's okay. Nobody's going to see these beautiful compression socks. All right. So the socks is on. Lovely socks. boots y'all remember my my Aldo boots y'all I am wearing all the shiny 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 whether it's day it's night morning it, well, I don't care what time of day it is I'm wearing my shiny shiny so putting on my wonderful Aldo boots okay just have to make sure you know because putting the right foot on the left foot will not work. Y'all, I love these boots. I mean, obviously, this this part don't look right up here with the black, so black socks. But nobody not going to see that. This is only for me and you guys. And y'all better not tell anybody. Don't tell nobody. Hm. Don't tell nobody. If you look underneath the skirt, <laughs> how attractive is that? Okay, see, they're not gonna see that. They're just gonna see the beautiful boots. Okay, so let me put on the other stuff and come right back. Oh. Oh. Y'all, we had a little situation with the shirt. This was the shirt I was supposed to have on. I had to switch shirts because when I got to the bottom, it was tight. <laughs> it wouldn't it, it buttoned but you, it pulled like this kind of like this across my hips and that didn't look good i wanted it to be laying flat just like this i, I wanted it to be laying like together i didn't want to be pulling like that so i had to switch shirts that's a slim fit and i and it does say slim fit <laughs> and i should have noticed that when i picked it up but i didn't but in any event i had to switch shirts um so I quickly pull out another white shirt and because I switched shirt now it's making me rethink how I'm going to accessorize this outfit. Do I want to do a tie? You know? Or do I have a silver tie? Do I have a silver tie? Because I was going to wear a necklace but now you know what? No, 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 no. No, I'm not gonna do a tie. It looks too it looks too straight. Like the school the school teacher in silver boots. <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna do a tie. I'm gonna do the necklace like I planned. I think the tie made the outfit look too not strict, severe. That's the word I'm looking for. That it looked too severe. And I am definitely not severe. Even though my children may beg to differ when they make me mad. <laughs> you know? All right. Oh, Sharon, sure, about to tangle up the something. I had it all nicely. Okay, there we go. There we go. So I'm going to be wearing this necklace. And this is all, this is two in one. They're meant, they're separate. 
but I wanted a more dramatic effect. So when I got it, which was years ago, I've had this for years, I bought two and just because I wanted this kind of look to make it more bulky. All right, let's put it on. Hope it looks good. On the white one, I have to, I think it'll work. Yeah, I think it'll look good. Because <laughs> if it don't, we might have to make another quick change. Let's put it underneath the collar. Oh, underneath the collar, Sharon. Yeah, I like it. I think it's better than what I was thinking about a tie. It's more fun. It's more representative of me in this outfit. You guys know I love a, a men's tie. I love, I love, 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 love that look. But in this outfit, I think it would have been a way too severe for me. Yeah, I'm trying to see if the collar is fixed properly. Okay. I think it is. Let's see. Yeah, I spend so much time judging, <laughs> especially the back, because I cannot see the back. I think the back is okay. Is the back all right? The back of you is all right? You know, tell me. Okay, enough of that. Should I button this button or leave it unbuttoned? Let's see. So I have a button here. I'm trying to determine should I button this button or leave it unbuttoned? Well, the only way to know is to see, try it and see, because I can quickly unbutton it. But the question is, can I quickly button it? <laughs> see, this is the problem. Why I try to determine, do I want to do something? Because it may not happen. Okay, here we go. Got it button. Yeah, I think button is, is good. Okay, so this is a necklace. Now pull out these earrings to go with it these statement silver earrings yeah I like it I'm glad because I only brought this one in and then I'd have to go look for another one yeah this works for me so this is what we have so far see come up close the earrings with the necklace I like all right, let me tell y'all what I'm, my makeup for today. What just fell? Oh, my lipstick just fell. Hold on a minute, my lipstick just fell. Now I have to find out where it fell. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, found the lipstick. <laughs> I thought it fell behind something. Anyhow, so this is the palette I'm wearing today. Juvia's Place, the Magic Mini. And I used everything in this palette my, for my eyeshadow, my contour, my gloss, everything. So here is the colors. I love Juvia's Place palette because I could use this palette all over my face. I don't have to bring something for blush, contour, and all that. This, this, this whole palette works. So today, this is what I have on my lid, this color right here, and it's Nana, that's what my grandson called me, Nana. So I have Nana on my lid. And then I, on my inner, I have Vi V, this one, whatever the name is. And on my outer, I have, okay, may have this one, may can't pronounce it. I have this one. And on the top, just a little bit of highlighter, I use this. Now for my blush, I use um, this one for my, blush and then this was the highlighter I put on my cheek so this one palette I use essentially for my whole face oh oh and I also use this one to line my eyes okay so that's a Juvia's Place palette I use um I was asked about Juvia's Place so what I'm going to do I'm going to put a, um, their website down below in my in the description so you guys can check it out. <laughs> Them not pay me for this. I just love the makeup. The, the, it's so pigmented. I really, really love it. So, sharing. Anyhow, 
for my lip i am wearing milani and this lip gloss this lipstick isn't it pretty so pretty ah oh. so this is milani idol but me not idolize the lipstick that's just the name of it so very very pretty i love it so that's what i have on my lips today don't move and that's the makeup today all right now for the bag y'all know color was gonna come in right did y'all know that <laughs> so i'm wearing carrying today my um kurt geiger metallic orange let's see the bag, can you tell the bag already? The bag already packed, ready to go. And I, don't, I didn't even know if I would like it. If I didn't like it, I just have to unpack it. So let's see. And I like it. I like it. So this is what it's going to be today. My metallic orange to just spice up this outfit because it's, a, it's shades of gray and white, silver. And now we add orange. So this is the bag for today. Drop my lipstick in. Nice. Stick it in the corner. It's now Sunny's. This is where I need help. I'm unsh I was unsure. So let me close this up. Ah. There we go. I was unsure about the Sunny's. So I brought in, so first up, one of my faves, Saint Laurent. Y'all know how I love my Saint Laurent. So let us see. Yeah, it works. It can go. But I, I, I was looking at, um, what is this? This is Versace? Yeah. Looking at this Versace, and I'm thinking, maybe this one, you know, some fun. It's a lot, huh? <laughs> hmm. With the earring and how just attention grabbing these sunglasses are, it's a lot. But isn't it the kind of a lot that I like? Let's see. Because, you know, I don't mind a lot because I am a lot. wowed by it it doesn't wow me so let's see maybe a simple Gucci aviator huh which I don't really wear that much so this is my um Gucci aviator I don't really wear it don't give it a lot of love <laughs> today I only brought one tray in I should have brought another train to give me more options but okay let's try one more <laughs> As about, let's try everything in this tray because I only brought this one tray which I brought the other train then we have the this Fendi let's see Now it's a no one for me for the Fendi. And last but not least is this Burberry. Let me show you. See? Burberry? Oh, let's see. No, it's a no for the Burberry. Y'all, I'm not happy with any of these. Really happy. Doesn't make me smile. So guess what? I'm going to go get the other tray. I'll be right back. So to make sure I find the right one, I just bring in two tray. <laughs> Let me go with the one that I'm thinking first, because I have to get out of here. Maybe it's just, yeah, maybe I just wear the, my Chanel. Uh, yes, this is what I needed today. This is it. 
why I'm putting so much thought in the sunglasses as it may not even come up because <laughs> with the weather we're having, we may not see the sun today. But you know, just in case, I'm prepared. All right, so it'll be this sunny for today. Now perfume. Yeah, I know I've been mixing up, mixing <laughs> Aaron Cedar Violet and Bitter Mandarin. I started doing it this week. And you know, why stop a good thing? Why? Let's just continue. Oh. Because I'm getting, where the hole is? Okay. I'm getting so much compliment on it. Oh. Oh. Smells so good. So good. So good. You ever seen anybody spray them like so much like me? I mean, this whole spring. But I have been doing that forever. Always spraying. Because to, to smell it coming up. to smell so good together oh Whew. okay so that was my Aaron cedar violet with joe malone bitter mandarin smells so good together on me mm. so my friends this is my look for today and this wraps up this week let's get dressed <laughs> If you're watching me and not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would greatly, greatly appreciate your support. I want to thank my subscribers. Let me tell y'all something. I think I have the best, 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 best look. I'm, what am I doing? What, what, is, what is this? <laughs> I think I have the best supporters. <laughs> Maybe a tad bit prejudiced, but it is what it is. Thank you guys so, so, so very much. I really, really appreciate you. Remember the thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. To continue to support me, comment and share if you want to help me build this channel. I always leave with find a reason to smile. And my reason for smiling today is Luke um, 15, 1 through 32, I think. Yeah, Luke 15, 1 through 32. And Jesus walked this earth for three years. And he walked searching his ministry and he was searching but he was not searching for misplaced or lost things he wasn't looking for things okay he was searching among who sinners you see what jesus went he went among the sinners because we were valuable to him okay we are worth every moment that he spent searching. For when we answer his call, we became his children. So while Jesus was here, he wasn't among the elite. He must he wasn't among you know the, the people who were here. He was he was in the trenches searching for sinners wanting to gather them to him to be called his children so because he did that for us i smile that's my reason for smiling you find your reason to smile and until next time this is sharon saying bye bye <laughs>